I also mentioned in the demo how you will have error handling and Zod validators uh, ready to go right out of the box. I just want to show you a quick demo of what I actually mean by that. So if we head to the terminal quickly, jump into the project and go over to the books action, this is the server action that powers the creation of the books. We head down here and let's just throw an error here um, in the create book action. If we try and create a book now, test new book uh, and we create, you'll see that we have our error here. This also, if this was being handed by the database, you could see like DB error, F key, FKA problem, but I don't know. Uh, and we try and do that again. And you'll see that that error is handled, handed directly to the user. And it, again, it just works. It works across um, the whole application, everything that's generated. Now, let's say, um, let's say, let's go back to the authors and show off um, some validations. Let's say we want to go to uh, the schema of the books. Uh, we're going to head down into the insert book params uh, Zod schema, which is for uh, the front end form validation. Let's say completed. Well, actually, let's do um, title and say that title has to be a Z dot string with minimum of three, four characters and say uh, a message of you need at least four characters for the title and add a comma. Don't forget that. Now, if we were to try and make a new book and we hit enter, look at that, like the validation's already there. You've got the create is blocked, so you cannot create a new thing and your message is passed directly to the form. It just, it, it just works. So yeah.